Do you know that there is a Switch emulator called Tozu that lets you play Nintendo Switch games on PC, Linux and Mac OS. Today we will be taking a deep dive into the Tozu emulator, the Nintendo Switch emulator that you didn't know about. And even though Tozu is no longer in active development, I'll guide you through how you can get it installed on your devices. Now one may ask, what is Tozu Emulator? Tozu Emulator is an experimental Nintendo Switch emulator that started as a fork of Yuzu, drawing its inspiration from projects like Suyu and Sudachi. It was built to run on multiple platforms including Windows, Linux and Android with a version for Mac OS on the horizon. However, it is important to note that Tozu is no longer in development, so making it a fascinating relic of its time. One unique aspect of Tozu is its hosting situation. Due to intense legal pressure and DMCA takedown notice from Nintendo, its main repository is now maintained on the Tor network. This is not only highlight the legal challenges faced by emulator developers, but also sets Tozu apart as a distinctive piece of emulation history. In early 2024, several user-based folks were hit with the DMCA takedown from Nintendo. Tozu was no exception. With mirrors on GitHub and other platforms shut down, the developers moved the main repository to Tor Network to bypass these legal obstacles. These decisions underscores the challenges and ingenuity within the emulation community. Okay, so to download the Tozu emulator, there's going to be a link under this video description. Just open the link or copy the link and then open your browser and then paste in the link. Now here like this, you should see something like Tozu. So this is the emulator. So go ahead and download the emulator. Press download anyway and then start downloading. Okay, so we are done downloading the emulator. So the emulator is in the zip format and we will need to extract it. And to do that, you will need software like WinRAR or 7-zip. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using WinRAR. Right click it and then using WinRAR, select extract to Tozu. After the extraction, open it. Here you should see two emulators in the folder. So this one is 24-0508 and 24-0514. So um, this is the latest version. I mean, these are the two latest version I managed to grab before they stopped working on the emulator. So I recommend you guys on using this, this version, this particular version. So go ahead and extract this one also. Okay, so this is the emulator, so you need to run this emulator. Here it says encryption keys are missing and don't panic. What simply means is that you will need to, you know, inst install the prod keys. So to install the prod keys, move your pointer to the tool session and then select install decryption keys then choose install decryption keys choose this one and then locate the folder that contains your prod keys after you successfully install the prod keys press ok and then go to the two sessions again this time around, select install firmware. Now locate the folder that contains your firmware files. Please note, to install both prod keys and the firmware, make sure they have the same version. So you can't install a product key version 19 and then you install firmware version 18. No, that is wrong. You need to install the same versions i mean let's say product case version 19 and then firmware 
version 19 or so. After selecting your folder that contains your firmware files, just select this one. Okay, so we are done installing the firmware and the product keys so we will need to add a folder to you know um display our games at this session so to do that so to do that it says double click to add a new folder to the game list so just double click here and then choose the folder that contains your switch games Okay, so if your games are not all showing, drag your pointer to this place, right click, select scan subfolders. From there, all your games should appear. Now come to the emulation session, which is this, this side, configure, and then under the UI, team, you can set it to midnight colorful and midnight blue. I always go with midnight colorful. Go to the emulation session again. Select configure. Select graphics. And then make sure your graphics API is on Vulkan. And then under the device, make sure you select your external GPU. So let's say you you have a low-end PC, which is an integrated graphics. You should see something like Intel HD graphics, blah, 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 or Intel UHD graphics, blah, blah, blah. When you see that, you just have to, you know, choose that one. But if you have external GPU, let's say RTS or GTS, then you should set it to your external GPU. So in this manner, I have NVIDIA GeForce GTS 1070 Ti. So I will choose that one. Now come to the control sessions. Under the connect controller, you should see something like pro controller. So this is the pro controller. Better still, you can change it to the handheld control handheld controller so this is the handheld controller but i prefer you guys to use the pro controller select the pro controller and then under input device you should see something like keyboard only select it and then select your plugged in controller so let's say if you have as well as 360 controller connected you should see as well as 360 controller if you have a ps4 controller connected you should see something like dualshock or anything like that so you have to select that one so in this manner i have as well as 360 controller connected to my pc so i'll select that one after that just press on ok now come to the emulation session again configure graphics resolution make sure you leave it as it is if you have a higher gpu then you can set it between two times native and three times native if you have a low end pc then i suggest you guys to leave it as it is after that just press on ok if you are curious about a hidden gem in the world of nintendo switch emulation give tozu a look i hope this video has provided you with a clear overview of what tozu is all about and its historical contents and how you can install it on your device don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon for more in-depth tech and gaming thoughts see you next time thank you for watching